Today I'm making slow cooker beef for crispy beef tacos and consomme. I'm also going to show you how to make agua de jamaica. This is a hibiscus flour drink that's so refreshing. This is going to be good. So I'm going to go over some of the ingredients. Here I'm working with a very small beef chuck roast. It's about two pounds. If you're doing something larger, like a four pound, just double the ingredients that I'm using today. I'm also going to be using one wajillo chile that I've already removed the stem and seeds from. I also will be using one Roma tomato, one jalapeno. I have three cloves of garlic and I'm going to use half of a small onion. I just cut it right in half. I'm also going to be using ground cumin seeds with black peppercorn. It's a mix that I keep in a jar and I just added like a teaspoon of that. I'm also going to add some Mexican oregano right into this mix and I'm just going to continue grinding this up. So I am using some beef broth and the way I did this was added three cups of warm water and one tablespoon of this beef bouillon powder or you could just use store-bought cans of beef broth. In a slow cooker or crock pot I'm going to add my beef and to that I'm going to add like a teaspoon of that mixture that I put together or you could use all of it. I'm just using like a teaspoon of it. Here I'm going to add my beef broth and this is three cups. I'm also going to add all of the fresh ingredients right into the crock pot. And I'm also working with one small dried bay leaf going in. So I'm going to cover with a lid. I'm going to set this to high and cook for about five to six hours or until the beef is tender. Okay, let me show you how I make the drink. Here I'm working with a small cinnamon stick and a small piece of fresh ginger root that I peeled. I'm going to work with a half cup to three quarters of a cup of hibiscus flowers. This is dried hibiscus flowers. So I'm going to add this into five cups of water that I put in a pot. I'm going to turn on the heat and bring that up to a gentle boil and let it go for about 10 minutes. I'm going to be sweetening this with biloncillo around six ounces. You could do about eight ounces of this. Once this has simmered and boiled for about 10 minutes, I'm going to shut off the heat and now I'm going to add the piloncillo. You could use regular sugar, but the piloncillo adds such a great flavor. And I'm going to just dissolve that into this hot liquid. Now I'm going to add my hibiscus flowers right into this simmering steeped tea. It's already smelling so aromatic. And now I'm just going to let this steep. And while it steeps, while I'm making other things, it'll eventually sort of cool. It won't be as hot by the time I'm ready to put it together. So I believe my beef is done and you just want it to be fork tender. It's been around five and a half hours. It just depends how cold the meat is going into the crock pot. Sometimes it takes six hours, but this is tender. So I'm going to remove this from my slow cooker. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bay leaf. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to let the meat rest for a little bit. In the meantime, I am going to remove all of those fresh ingredients because I'm going to blend this up like a salsa to add right back into this wonderful broth that you're left with in the slow cooker. By the way, I need to remove the stem from the jalapeno and it comes off really easy. And I'm going to skim off most of the rendered fat from the top of this broth. Okay, back to the salsa. I'm going to add salt to taste. Be sure to taste for seasoning and salt. It's to your preference. I'm going to add a cup of water, cover with the, the lid here, and I'm going to puree this well. Mm, 
now back into my slow cooker. And this is the flavorful broth that I'm going to dunk my crispy beef tacos in and just give that a mix. I'm gonna cover this back up with uh, the lid and set it to low just to keep it warm. Now I'm just gonna chop up all of this beef. And this was such a small beef chuck roast, but for the amount of meat and cheese, I should be able to get at least 12 crispy tacos out of this, probably more. It just depends the ratio of what you're putting in each taco. So I'm gonna chop this up. And here I'm working with cheese. I've got my beef and that rendered fat. It's going right into the pan. That's what's gonna make these tacos crispy. I'll use all of that. And carefully, because this is a preheated pan, you're going to add your corn tortillas. I'm using store-bought and I'm going to heat these through on both sides before I fill it with the cheese and the meat. Oh, it's gonna be good. So for the cheese, I'm just using a low moisture mozzarella cheese. Oaxaca cheese is a great choice. Any type of melting cheese works. Use what you've got. Sometimes I even do pepper jack cheese, it's so good. So I have the cheese here. Now I'm going to add some of my chopped tender beef right on top. Now for a little more cheese, and I'm just gonna do a little bit right on top. It just helps the tacos stay together when you kind of sandwich the meat with the cheese. And I'm gonna carefully flip these over and fold them in half, not flip them over, I'm folding them in half. And I'm just gonna let these go until they are crispy on the exterior and gooey in the center. And as you can see, they are crisping up with that rendered fat. It smells amazing. So here's what they look like so far. And I got to tell you, it's so tempting to just eat one right now. It looks wonderful. For the agua fresca de Jamaica, I'm going to add tons of ice. Uh, essentially, it's like a pound of ice. I like to add ice. Some people don't. They just don't want to dilute it with water. I love doing this. So ice, I'm going to add all of that steeped tea that I made with the cinnamon, ginger, and the hibiscus flour. And remember, it is sweetened, but you do want to taste it for sweetness. You might want more sugar in this. And if you're using piloncillo, it's going to be hard to dissolve. So you got to do it when the liquid's hot. I'm adding an extra quart of water, like three to four cups more. I'm going to give it a mix. Be sure to taste for sweetness and adjust to your preference. And this is the drink. This is one of my favorite drinks. I drink this all summer long. It's so good. Cheers. I have to drink this. I've been cooking up a storm, and this is so refreshing. Okay, so I have a bowl of that consomme, and I just add the tacos right into it with some diced onion. You can do some cilantro. It all works, and I'm going in for a bite. So if you don't like food sounds, tune away. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.